Greetings and welcome back to our 21 day challenge. Today we'll be working on a mindful flow. So the work is not really so much the work as in the postures, the work is what's going on in here. That's the hardest thing. So the idea behind this mindful flow is you're gonna move but slowly. Okay, sometimes when you move fast, you kind of lose it. When you don't move at all, you completely lost it. So we're gonna move slowly in a way that will help you to stay with it to stay mindful. So enjoy the practice, okay? We have another day here, another chance to look in, and another chance to move the body. Let's meet on the mat. Okay, so let's begin. And we are sitting comfortably. Keeping the spine long and straight and tall. Keeping the body as relaxed as possible. And the idea behind today's practice is to do a mindful flow. Okay, the idea is always to do a mindful flow, but today we'll give some kind of more uh, instructions towards maintaining this mindfulness. So let's start here as you are. I invite you to close your eyes and to pay attention. And mindfulness is really about paying attention. So pay attention to the way you're breathing. Pay attention to the way you are holding your body, to your posture. Pay attention to the mind, to the way the thoughts are coming and going. And this is really all there is to it. Med meditation is perhaps different. Mindfulness is easier. You don't have to do anything. You just have to notice what you are doing. So it's nothing specific that you need to do besides just noticing what you are doing. So noticing your body, noticing the breath, noticing the mind in any given moment for as long as possible. So maintaining the mindfulness is the idea and this is what we'll try to aim for today, to maintain the mindfulness for as long as possible, as long as possible. And it's fine if you lose it occasionally, we all do. Just bring yourself back. So occasionally, kind of throughout the practice, I'll be saying, be aware, or stay aware. That would be perhaps like a code between us for you to remember, pay attention, stay mindful. Body, mind, breath, whichever one you want to choose. You don't have to do all three, it can be just one of them. So now, be aware. Feel the breath. Feel the body and notice your thoughts. I'm not trying to change it, you're just noting things as they are. You can notice my mind is very busy, that's okay. You can notice the breath is a bit irregular, that's not a problem. You can notice that the body is feeling stiff, tired, that's fine. It's not about being perfect, it's just about noticing things as they are. Okay, so from here let's start to move. So slowly as you inhale, reach your arms all the way up, feeling the arms moving, feeling the chest lifting, interlock your fingers. And as you exhale, turn the palms to face up and stretch up. So we're holding this stretch for a few more breaths and really feel what's going on. So you might feel the kind of external body quite easily. That's great. But maybe you can bring your awareness a bit deeper. So feeling how the stretch is affecting the lungs, it's affecting your heart. 
your internal organs. While the arms reaching up and the chest is lifting, can you feel your sitting bones and your feet? So expand your awareness. Take another breath there. And then slowly release. And just for a moment, close your eyes. And can you feel the blood moving down your arms to your fingertips? Perhaps you can feel the heart pumping perhaps a bit faster. Just notice things. It's not about what you do or how you do it, it's about how you notice what you're doing. That's the key. Let's do it again. Let's interlock the fingers again in front of the heart, breathing in. And straight away as you exhale, lift your arms up, pressing the palms up, lifting the shoulders up. This time we'll take the arms a bit further back and expand more for the chest. But if comfortable too, you can lift the head and look up. So you might feel the stretch in your throat, around the breastbone, and moving all the way down to the pubis bone. The whole front of your body is expanding. Can you also feel the back contracting slightly, the pelvic floor, the sitting bones grounding, the feet, the knees grounding. Take another breath there. And once more, release the arms, relax your head, close your eyes and just feel. Notice. You feel the center of your palms, your fingertips. You feel your neck, the crown of your head. And let's continue. So what we'll do is we're going to have gaps throughout the practice. Some of them shorter, some of them longer. And um, the idea behind this is to bring you to a place where you can feel. So we do a few things, some of them might be kind of more sensation inducing, another way of saying perhaps more challenging, but not really hard, but just more about you becoming more aware. Okay, so there'll be a gap afterwards so you can feel things. And then gradually that uh, feel thing gap is going to be uh, spread out throughout the whole practice. So even while you move, while you do things, you will still be in the same mindset of feeling. All right, so let's go into child's pose. Okay, so ease yourself into child's pose. And we're starting here because this is a good place to really notice. So as you bring your head to the floor or onto your hands and you compress your belly into the thighs, it's easier to feel the breath moving through the front of your body. So feeling the belly and the chest expanding into the thighs. But maybe becoming aware of the pressure in your ears. There might be some movement in the crown of your head. Okay, so let's start to flow. We're going to flow slowly through the moon salutation. So look forwards. And as you inhale, bring yourself up to sitting. Reach your arms really high. And as you exhale, slowly bring the hands forwards and down. Bring your head back down to the floor. Moving with the breath, come forwards into a cow as you breathe in. Tuck your toes under, moving into downward dog as you breathe out. Dropping the knees onto the floor, look up again in the cow as you inhale. Then round your back going to the cat and press yourself to child's pose as you exhale. Straight away slide your hands onto your lower back. And when you're ready, come up into kneeling, breathe in, and draw the elbows in towards each other and lean back as you breathe out. Ease yourself back to sitting as you inhale and back into child's pose as you exhale. Now let's pause here now. That's our first round of moon salutation. Chandra Namaskara. Notice how you feel. Do you feel the blood moving through the spine, along the spine? 
Can you feel your shoulders heavy, your fingertips? Let's do it again. So once more, rise to sitting, reach the arms high. And spill forwards, hands to the floor and head down too. Come forwards, moving into a cow as you breathe in, tuck your toes under. Moving to downward dog as you breathe out. Knees back to the floor, tail and chin go up as you inhale. Then round in, press yourself back to child's pose as you exhale, place your hands on lower back. Then rise to kneeling as you breathe in, elbows in. And lean back as you exhale, look up. Back to sitting, breathing in. And forward again as you breathe out and take a moment here, pause and notice. What's going on in your head? What's the breath doing? Let's flow again. So once more, rise to sitting, reach up. And hands forwards, head down, exhale. For the cow, breathing in, tuck your toes. And downward dog, breathing out, heels down as much as you can. Knees on the floor, tail and chin up, back into that cow inhale. Round in, press back into the cat and child's pose, exhale. With the hands on your lower back, rise to kneeling as you breathe in. And lean back as you breathe out. Come back to sitting, inhale. And back into child's pose. Let's pause here once more. We did three rounds. Can you feel the effect of the postures and the movement on your body? On your mind? And on the breath. Variation two. Let's rise up to sitting, reach the arms and look up. Now place the right hand on the floor by your side, lean towards your right. And just for a moment, we'll hold here to notice the left side of the body. Can you feel your ribcage spreading and your left lung expanding? Let's switch. With the left hand on the floor, the right hand goes up, breathing in. Lean over towards your left. Now notice the right side of your body, from your sitting bone, perhaps even from your foot, to the side of the belly, to the ribs, to the shoulder, the arm, the fingertips. Let's come back after sitting, reach both arms up, look up. And then bring the hands and the head down as you exhale, relax. Coming through cow, inhale, tuck your toes. Downward dog as you exhale. Let's lift the heels high with the inhalation. And bring both heels towards the left. Press the right hand into the floor and pause here to once more feel that expansion for the right side of your body. Feel it, connect with it, breathe into it. Let's change sides, the heels go up, breathe it in. Spin both heels towards your right and breathe into the left side of your body. Steady breath in, steady breath out. Let's go back to the center, heels go up once more, inhale. And lower both heels towards the floor as you exhale, holding a downward facing dog. Then drop the knees on the floor, come back for the cow as you breathe in, pressing into the cat and all the way to child's pose as you breathe out, hands go back to lower back. Let's rise up to kneeling, inhale, and gently lean back as you exhale. Come back to kneeling, reach the right arm up, left hand on your hip, then lean over towards your left. The left hand can still the hip, you can slide onto the thigh, you can come to the floor, it doesn't really matter, just notice the right side of your body. Let's change sides. So left arm up, right hand for support, inhale, then lean over towards your right, adjust the right hand if needed, but just breathe into the left side of your body. From here, both arms reach up as you inhale. And then fall down, back into child's pose, arms behind, head to the floor, pause. 
Perhaps there's some kind of tingling sensations on along the left side of your body. Perhaps you find the breath deeper. Whatever it may be, be aware. Third variation. Inhale, rise to sit in, reach the arms up. This time, as you exhale, twist towards your right. So right fingers on the floor behind, left hand on the right thigh, twisting back, looking back. Then back to the center, reach up as you inhale. And twisting towards your left. So again, in the twist here, we're noticing what's going on. Stay aware. Then come back to the center, reach up. And then spill forwards, hands down, head down, relax. Coming into tabletop, reaching the right arm out towards the right and thread it towards the left, shoulder on the floor, head down, feel that twist. Stay there for one breath in, one breath out. Then come back to tabletop and we're switching sides. So left arm goes left, inhale, thread it to the right, release the shoulder, the head down onto the floor. And stay here for a breath, noticing your back, your hips, your shoulders. Then back to tabletop, from tabletop to a cow, lift the tail of the chin, tuck your toes. Move it into downward dog as you exhale. Okay, so stay here, deep breath in. Long breath out. And then drop the knees back onto the floor. Lift the heart, lift the head, lift the tail, breathe it in. And press yourself into child's pose, placing the hands on the lower back, preparing for the kneeling part. Then rise to kneeling, elbows in, heart up, leaning back. Then come up to a normal kneeling inhale. And then we're twisting towards the right. So right hand behind your hip, left hand on the right shoulder, and we're twisting. Now the idea with the hand behind the hip is to stabilize your hips and then feel the twist. Let's change sides. So left hand kind of kidney area, hip, right hand on the shoulder, Twisting back. Then come back to the center, reaching up. Sit yourself down and forward and relax. Take a moment here. Be aware. Chandra Namaskar B. So rise to sitting, reach the arms and look up. And spill forwards, head down, hands down, relax. Coming up with the cow, breathing in, tuck your toes under. Moving into downward dog as you breathe out. Lift the heels up, inhale. And bring the right foot to your hands, set the left knee on the floor, exhale. From here, rise into a lunge, reach the arms up, breathing in. Bring the hands to the floor and we step into downward facing dog, breathing out. Move with the breath. In downward dog, the heels go up, inhale. And best as you can, bring that left foot to your hands, settle the right knee on the floor, exhale. Reach the arms, come to the lunge, breathing in. And sinking down, breathing out. And one more time, both hands to the floor, inhale. Step to downward dog, exhale. Drop the knees on the floor, coming through that cow, inhale, relax your toes, press yourself through cat to child, hands on lower back, exhale. And rise to kneeling, breathe in, and lean back, breathe out. Come back to sitting, inhale, and go into child's pose, exhale, we're pausing here. So slightly more vigorous. Bigger movements and maybe different sensations. Are you aware of your internal environment? Can you maintain your awareness there? What's going on inside? Let's do it again. Coming up to sitting, reach your arms up. And fold forwards, head down. 
Come into the cow, breathing in. Tuck your toes. Downward dog, breathing out. The heels go up, inhale. And right foot to the hands, left knee to the floor, exhale. Rise to the lunge, reach up. And sink down as you exhale. Hands on the floor, breathing in, tuck left toes. Stepping back, downward dog, breathing out. Again, the heels go up, inhale. Now left foot to the hands, right knee on the floor, exhale. Reach the arms high, inhale. And sink down, exhale. Hands on the floor, right toes tucked under, breathing in. Step to downward dog, breathing out. Drop the knees on the floor, look up as you inhale. Going for the cat into the child, breathing out. Hands on lower back. Inhale, rise up to kneeling. Elbows in, lean back as you exhale. Come back to sitting, inhale. And back into child's pose, release and relax. Take a moment here. Notice how you feel. One more time in the same way. Rise up to sitting, reach your arms up. And still forwards, head and hands down. Come into the cow, breathing in, tuck your toes. And downward dog, breathing out. Send your heels high, inhale. And bring that right foot to the hands, left knee on the floor, exhale. Arms reach up, breathing in. And sink forwards, breathing out. Hands on the floor, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Heels up, inhale. And left foot to the hands, right knee on the floor, exhale. Arms reach out, breathing in. And sink forwards, breathing out. Hands on the floor, inhale. And once more, we step into downward dog. Knees on the floor, chin up, inhale. From cat into child, exhale, hands on lower back. Then rise to kneeling, inhale. And lean back, exhale. Come back to sitting, inhale. And back into child's pose, exhale. And let's take a few moments here. Notice how you feel. Be aware. Stay present. The nature of the repetitive movement is it helps you to be present because you know what's happening. It helps to calm the mind down. Okay, so it can be challenging if you just like to change and change and change and change and move. So just focus on that challenge. Notice your mind perhaps resisting. That's fine too. Just notice things as they are. We'll come up to second variation in the second salutation. So let's rise to a sitting, reach the arms up. We're adding the side bend for the second variation. So now lean towards your right with the right hand on the floor. We'll spend a breath here, inhale. And hold it here, exhale. Now change the hands, breathing in. Lean over towards your left and really notice the right side of your body. Hold it there for another breath. Another exhalation. Then come back to center, reach the arms up, maybe lean slightly bit further back. And then spill forwards, head and hands down. Coming through the cow, tuck your toes into downward dog as you exhale. Lifting the heels high, breathe in. Spin both heels towards the left. Open the right side of your body, breathe out. Hold it here, inhale. Hold it here, exhale. Heels to the center and up, inhale. Spin them to the right. Open the left side of your body. Hold it here, inhale. And hold it here, exhale. Then come back to the center, heels go up, inhale. And bring the right foot to the hands, left knee to the floor, and exhale. Then rise into the lunge, arms reach up, inhale. Place the right hand on your hip, 
lean towards your right exit. The right hand can stay on the hip, can be on the block or on the floor. Just stay there for another breath. Another exhalation. Then reach both arms high. Inhale. And hands on the floor. We're stepping back to downward facing dog. Once more, lift the heels high. Breathe in. And bring the left foot to the hands. Right knee on the floor. Breathe out. Both arms reach up. Inhale. Sink down. Exhale. Place the hand, left hand on the hip. Lean across towards your left. So stay in there. Inhale. Adjust your left hand. And hold it here. Exhale. Now both arms reach up, inhale, perhaps sink a bit lower, exhale, hands on the floor, bring it in, let's come back to downward. Settle the knees down, tail and chin up, inhale, and press yourself through the cat to child, hands on lower back, and rise up to kneeling, inhale, lean back. Exhale. The left arm reaches up, the right hand is on the hip, bring it in, and lean across towards your right. Stay there for one more breath. Breathe out. Then come to the center, change the hands in here, lean over towards your left. Again, stay in here in here, and stay in here. Exhale. Then come up, reach both arms up, maybe lean back a bit, and sit down and back into child's pose. And pause there. Notice how you feel. Be mindful. And then the last variation. So when you're ready, as you inhale, rise up to sitting, reach your arms high. And then we're twisting towards the right fingers behind you, left hand on your thigh. We're going to hold it here for a deep breath in. Deep breath out, squeeze more perhaps. Then come back to the center, reach the arms up. And then twist towards your left. Again, stay in here, inhale. Stay in here, exhale. And then come back to the center, reach up. And then fold forwards, arms in front of you, head down. Coming back to the tabletop, sending the right arm out towards the right, inhale. Thread it towards the left, shoulder and head on the floor, exhale. Hold the twist, inhale. Hold the twist, exhale. Then changing, come back up. Left arm goes left, inhale. Thread it to the right, relax the head, the shoulder to the floor. Again, hold it here, inhale, and hold it here, exhale. Then come back through a cow, inhale, tuck your toes, and downward dog as you exhale. Lifting the heels high as you inhale, and now bring that right foot to the hands, left knee on the floor, relax down. Both arms reach up, inhale. Now bring the hands together in front of the heart center and slowly start to twist towards your right. Stay in here, inhale. Perhaps sinking a bit down, exhale. And then come to the center, reach the arms up, inhale. Perhaps sinking even lower, exhale. Now bring the hands to the floor, bring them in. And we're back in downward facing toe. Lifting the heels high, inhale. And left foot all the way to the hands, Right knee on the floor, exhale. Rise to the lunge, reach your arms up. Bring the palms together, turn to your left, perhaps sink a bit lower. Stay in here. Breathing out. Then come to the center, reach up. And again, perhaps sink a bit lower as you exhale. Hands on the floor, inhale. And one more time, downward facing dog. Dropping the knees down, lifting the heart up, inhale, and press yourself up and over to child's pose, place your hands on lower back, and when you're ready, rise to kneeling, elbows in, and lean back as you exhale.
Come back to kneeling, keep the right hand on the hip, left hand to the right shoulder, inhale. Gently twist to your right, stabilize the hips, hold it here, inhale. And hold it here, exhale. Change the hands, breathing in, twisting to your left. Hold it here, inhale. And hold it here, exhale. And come back to the center, reach your arms high. And sit yourself down and go back into child's pose. Exhale, relax. Well done, relax here. Settle. Breathe. Notice. Stay aware. When you're ready, slowly bring yourself up to sit here. So you can stay seated on your heels, you can cross your legs, just take a few moments here. Mm, well done everyone. So sitting comfortably in a way that feels good, or if you want to, you can lie down, of course. This is the end of our practice today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you stayed mindful for pretty much most of it, or at least notice when you were not noticing, because that's important too. So as always, uh, keep practicing, keep looking in, keep checking how you feel, and just keep enjoying the practice. So we are not far off the end, Okay, not far off the end, so just stay with it and finish strong. Don't forget, if you enjoy the practice, enjoy the video, please give it a like so to show that you are uh, enjoying it. And don't forget to put some comments down. It's lovely to see some of your comments. It's nice to know that you are there rather than just seeing that some people viewed it. It's nice to see who viewed it and what they think about it. So please put some comments down. Don't forget, please, to subscribe. And of course, share this practice with other people because that's how we promote well-being for everyone else. All the best for now, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste.